welcome to the Startup Espresso. I'm Hall T. Martin, the host of the show, where we talk about raising funding for your startup and the time it takes to have an espresso. I hope you enjoy this episode. Hello, this is Hall T. Martin with the Startup Funding Espresso, your daily shot of startup funding and investing. Revenue or sales stands for the amount of funds a company earns. This comes from the goods or services the company sells. This is often called gross sales or total sales, as it's the total amount of the proceeds. Net sales is the gross sales minus any returns, discounts, or other price reductions offered to customers, such as rebates. Cost of goods sold is the cost to produce the goods or services. In a consumer product goods company, it's the cost to build the product. In a SaaS business, it includes the cost of servers and software used to provide the service. Gross margin is the net sales minus the cost of goods sold. Gross margin percent is calculated as gross margin over total sales. This is a key factor for many investors as it represents the amount of funds you have available for sales and marketing. The higher the gross margin, the greater the capability of the company to sell it. And finally, there's the cost of sales. These are the costs directly related to selling the product such as commissions. It's important to understand these elements in calculating your sales and presenting to investors. Thank you for joining us for the Startup Funding Espresso, where we help startups and investors connect for funding. Let's go start us with today. Paul T. Martin is the director of Investor Connect, which is a 501c3 nonprofit dedicated to the education of investors for early stage funding. All opinions expressed by Hall and podcast guests are solely their own opinions and do not reflect the opinion of Investor Connect. This podcast is for informational purposes only and should not be relied upon as a basis for investment decisions.